Hi, it's Chester here at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video we're in Excel. And I just want to show you a problem that you can sometimes come across in a filtered list. I have some new prices that I want to copy over to the price column. I only want to do it for the basics product, so I'm going to filter my list so I can only see the basics products. And now what I want to do is copy the new price over into the price column and you'd think that'd be nice and easy. It appears as though it's only copied the first new price. If I just clear this filter, you'll see what's happened is it's actually copied it down to the immediate sales below rather than the appropriate basics product rows that I wanted to copy it to. So I'll undo that. Now, the way around this is rather than doing a copy is to use fill functionality within Excel. What you do is you select the cells that you want to copy to, hold down control, select the cells that you want to copy from. And then on the home tab of your ribbon, if you go over to your fill button, you have to use either the right or the left fill. Now it's pretty simple to work out which to use. In my example, my new price is to the right of my price column. So I want to fill to the left. I want to move or copy those values to the left. And if I do that, you can see it's moved those values into the price column. If I clear the filter, you can now see that wherever I have basics, I have the new price. We've got basics there, we've got basics there. You can see it's moved the 38 or copied the 38 over into that old column. I'll undo that again. Let's get back to where we were. So I've got the old prices in column B. Now this method works if you already have a column with your data in, in the relevant row. What if you have data in some other table? For example, I've just got three sales here and I've been told that these are the three new prices for my basic products. Now the fill method will not work in this instance because those values are not within the correct rows within this table. Now there are a number of ways that you can do this, but I think probably the simplest way would be to apply the filter, which we've already done, and then select the cells that you want to paste the new values into and color them. And now it doesn't matter which color you choose. Then get rid of the filter, clear it, and right click on one of the cells that you've colored and go to sort, put selected cell color on top. Now you have all the records that you want to paste over at the top of your sheet. So very simply, you can copy these. And if I press enter in the top cell there, it pastes the new values in. Now I need to apply a bit of formatting and I can do that with the format painter, but you can see that I'm now done. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.